We've all seen these shocking videos, groups of organized thieves raid a store, stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, and then out the door in less than a minute. But where is all of that stolen stuff going, and what is being done to crack down? Fox 32's Dane Placco tonight with a special report on new efforts to stop the steal. It's quick, it's easy, and it's virtually risk-free. If it seems like it's happening more often, that's because it is. While organized retail theft has been going on for decades, it has now grown into a $45 billion a year illegal industry. Former FBI agent Ross Rice says that's because criminals know they're likely to get away with it. We've seen stories recently where the same business has been targeted two or three times in the same month. Well, why are they going back to the same place? Because they got away the first time. You don't have armed security, uh, and, and most of the stores are, have told their employees, don't get involved, don't intervene, we don't want anyone hurt. What's difficult for retail is retail isn't like a factory or a government office building. We can't everything, have everything behind lock and key. Rob Carr of the Illinois Retail Merchants Association says organized retail theft has grown 60% over the last five years, particularly in areas where criminals perceive law enforcement to be lax. And where law enforcement uh, across the spectrum, and by that I mean judges, states, attorneys, and law enforcement and police, have not seen it for what it is, which is organized and connected. All of us are victims of retail crime, or particularly organized retail crime. Every item that is stolen from a store, there's no sales tax collected on that item. So where is all that stolen stuff going? While some winds up in pawn shops, flea markets, or peddled out of cars, experts say the biggest marketplace is as close as your computer or cell phone. It's not on the dark web, it's on the bright web. It's on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay. Uh, locations that people go to all the time. And while online platforms have rules prohibiting the sale of stolen merchandise. But how do they know? Look at the number of postings that are on eBay or on Craigslist. It's, it's physically impossible to go through and verify each one. When you buy products from third-party sellers on online marketplaces, you're really rolling the dice. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin recently held a Judiciary Committee hearing on organized retail theft. We need urgent action from this Congress. And Congress is working on a tool to do just that, the Inform Consumers Act, a bipartisan bill that would require online retailers to disclose exactly who is selling what you're buying. So if somebody's going to sell large volume of goods online on a marketplace, they should tell the marketplace who they are. Doesn't that sound pretty basic? The sellers should be verified. And it takes important first steps in providing accountability and policing those websites. Last September, Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul established an organized retail crime task force, which in December made its first major bust, recovering tens of thousands of stolen items packed into eight storage units waiting to be fenced. But what about you, the consumer? How do you know that something you're buying online was actually stolen? Experts say there are some telltale signs. Something that's advertised as brand new in the box is always a clue. Why would you sell it online for less than you paid for it? If you don't want the item, you can take it back to the store and get a full refund. But as long as sellers can hide their identities and demand for cheap merchandise remains high, experts say criminal retail theft rings will continue to thrive. Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. And other red flags experts say you should look for include multiple items being sold still in their original packaging with price tags on and if the seller takes requests for special orders. The Illinois Retail Merchants Association says it's working on measures to fight these kinds of thefts and hopes to announce some new proposals soon.